welcome back to the channel and if you are new welcome welcome so for today's video i do have something special i know y'all thinking cc where in the heck have you been i've been gone i have been working my uh, primary job uh, at home so that i have been clocking so much overtime y'all i do apologize for not being on here like i normally would i'm so sorry so for today's video i will be using a new palette it is from my makeup line j la rose by cc beauty and this is my j la rose um magic blend eyeshadow palette and it does come with all of these beautiful colors and as you all know i am a glitter girl so to have these glitter shades in this palette it is so fun y'all and i have experimented with some of them and i truly can say i love them i will be using this eyeshadow palette for this look I also use a little bit of my other palette which is called the jayla rose in the nude eyeshadow palette as well also i do have my own lip gloss line i had fun creating this video with my own products i'm excited so these two palettes are available for purchase on my website I will put the link down in the description below. So if you would like to just browse, if there's something that you see that you may like, feel free to purchase. Your support is greatly appreciated. And thanks so much for supporting me on my channel as well. So without further ado, we are about to get into this video and slay this look today. So first I'm taking the e.l.f. Matte Concealer in the shade Tan Sand and I'll be using that as my base. Once I apply that all over my lid, I'll be taking a blending brush and I will be blending everything out. And to set my base, I'll be taking the Wet n Wild setting powder in the shade Banana. Next, I'm going in with the Jayla Rose Magic Blend Eyeshadow Palette in this purple shade. And that'll be acting as my first transition shade. And I will be applying that to the outer edges of my eye. I'll be going back in the Magic Blend palette in this blue shade and I just want to apply that on top of that first transition shade. My goal is to make the outer edges of my eye a little bit more darker so I could have a more gradient effect from the different purples I'll be using. And I'll also be transitioning back and forth with the blue shade and that purple shade to get the perfect blend next i'm going in with this fuchsia shade and i'll be applying that as my third transition color and once i do so i will be blending everything out and as well alternate between those two purple shades so for my fourth transition shade i'm going in with this beige color and I'll be applying that to the inner corners of my eye and I will also be blending everything out like so. And I'll go back in with that fuchsia shade to kind of blend these two colors together. Right now I'm taking the eyeshadow brush with no product and I'll be blending out any harshness that I may see. Next, I'm going in with the Jayla Rose in the Nude Eyeshadow Palette with this brown shade. And I'll be blending out, again, any harshness that may appear that I don't like. So next, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Liner and I'll be using that to line my eyes. For mascara, I will be using the Iman of Noble Mascara. 
Next, I'll be taking the Kiss Lash Glue to apply my lashes. I also applied my rhinestones off camera. Now I'll be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Primer and I'll be applying that to my T-zone area. Once I do so, I will be using my fingertips to blend everything out. Next, I'll be going in with the Nika K Concealer in shade 12, and I'll just apply that to any areas that I feel have any kind of discoloration. And afterwards, I will be blending everything out. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 368 and I will be applying that all over my face and afterwards, I will be blending everything out. So next I'll be going in with the Nika K and Elf Concealer and I'll be mixing these three together to get this desired color in order for me to highlight with. And I will be placing that in my T-zone areas and blending everything out. I did want to go for a brighter under eye, so I took the e.l.f. matte concealer in the shade Tan Tan and I am going to place that underneath my eye and blend everything out with a small beauty blender. And to contour my face, I'll be taking the Black Opal Shade Stick.
Next, I'll be going in with the Wet n Wild setting powder in the shade Deep, and I'll be applying that to all areas where I tend to highlight. So next I'll be taking the Nika K Press Powder and I'm going to apply that in all those areas that I did contour. To add a little bit of warmth back to my face, I'll be going in with the Juvia's Place Bronze Palette and I'll be applying that to my cheek area. I'll also go in with the Nika K Very Berry Blush Palette and I'll apply that to my cheekbones. Once I am complete with that, I'll go back in with the Pink Crush Palette by Nika K and apply this gold shade as my highlight. To line my lips, I'm using the Clinique Dark Brown Lip Liner. So I did want to go for a darker lip color, so I am using the Nika K Overdyne and Turkish Rose Matte Lipstick, and I will be blending those two together to get the desired color that I would love. So to brighten up the lip color, I did go in with the Ruby Kisses Forever Matte Lipstick in the shade Doom. I'll also be applying the J. La Rose Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Twinkle. And I'll be applying this all over my lip. I apologize y'all, I had to get all up in the camera, your girl could not see. And to set my face, I'll be taking the Kiss Setting Spray in matte finish. And ladies, here is the completed look. If you all enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I will see you ladies later. Bye!